division battle. While you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to win, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Mateusz Gamer! Gamer! All right, group of rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. Also. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well rounded that they have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than, oh, he's going for his arm now. And 
now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. Throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's attacking on bar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Finish it. Finish it. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, nice. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Five seconds to go here in round one. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damage strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, big left hand there. Down to his neck. All right, so there's the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you gotta give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys. But nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. Let's go, fight! Good punch, Lance. Huge block there. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. And he switches to southpaw. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. 
Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. They're starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big body kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Ball single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Nice punch here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And he landed the right hand there, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Seconds to go in round two. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. submission there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up there it is Go 
Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Punches block. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Nice hammer fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Able to land the single ground strike there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Sound strike on the ground. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Solid strike on the ground. I mean, how many can he take? Looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Gotta be careful, on ball. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. It's in there deep. There you go. Somehow stays in the fight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Beautiful leg kick throw. series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the dance. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Wow, massive uppercut. Big right hand there. Just unable to quite find that ring. Oh, that's a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile. And they can do these takedowns in so many ways. You saw it on full display right there with that trip. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. 15 seconds. Oh! to avoid the left. What a round!
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Plans with the right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Now connects with a right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Plus right hand is true. Kick. Nice straight punch. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to his head. Connects with a right. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Ooh. Got the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice knee to the midsection there. to get the takedown. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. to the side, get his head against Now he's okay, now he can escape. Oh, nice job by him there to move it to half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound to beat it. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, single collar tie here. A big and kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. The right hand just misses. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Wow. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Fight 
so far. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. That's He's right, starting guys, to wear ready? on you. you Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. Lands a punch there for a good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He's a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Right hook to the head block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. He's a collar tie. He's got him in the position. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! Nice defense on the single leg attempt there. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Just missed with the left there. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's got the tie clinch. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. What a punch. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter, but when he added knees to his game, he became even better. Under two minutes to go on the fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Still a nice body kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Head kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Great time on that double leg. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Blocks. He gets denied. Blocks. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of control and positions. You're not going to roll around and scramble to get this guy off of you. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and find that choke. And if you're not careful, 
he will latch onto an arm when you think you're right about to escape and get you with the arm bar. Effective punch there by Lee. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 45, 48 47, and 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's